On Monday night, when I spoke to you, the electorate, I asked you to examine the election manifestos of all the political parties and to see for yourselves which of them are sincere and practicable. Many of you are of course aware of the provisions of the Nigerian Constitution Orders in Council, which set out the authority and the powers of the federal government and of the regional governments. Now, our Nigerian Constitution provides for a clear division of functions between the federal and the regional governments. Those of you who have studied the constitutional instruments will see that very many of the things which the political parties are promising in their election speeches and manifestos are outside the responsibility of the federal government. There are services or matters which can only be provided by the regional governments. We of the Northern People's Congress hope that all Nigerians who understand the constitutional position in our country will take it upon themselves as a duty to explain these matters clearly to the rest of the people so that the Nigerian public will not be, that will not be deceived by those parties who have no regard for truth. We in the Northern People's Congress feel that it is wrong to deceive the people by promising them that we shall do things which we know very well are outside the competence of the federal government. Let us be quite clear, this is a federal election and not a regional election. For the benefit of those of my fellow Nigerians, we have not the advantage of knowing the provisions of the Constitution. I shall try now to explain briefly the matters which come directly under the legislative control of the federal government and of the House of Representatives. Now here are some of the things over which the federal government exercises exclusive control. They are as follows. Aviation, banks and bank banking, the raising of external loans for the federal government or for the regions, companies other than those incorporated directly by a law enacted by the regional legislature, then there's currency, coinage and legal tender, and the customs and excise, and deportation from Nigeria or the compulsory removal of persons from one region to another, and external affairs, that is the relations of Nigeria with foreign countries. The federal government is also responsible for certain institutions of higher education of which the most important are the University College, the University College Teaching Hospital, the Nigerian College of Arts, Science and Technology, the West African Institute of Social and Economic Research, the Pharmacy School Yaba, the Forest School Ibadan, and the Veterinary School at Vom. Immigration into Nigeria and emigration also come under the exclusive control of the federal government. Then there is the maritime shipping and navigation, including shipping and navigation of tidal waters and of the river Niger and its tributaries. Then mines and minerals and nuclear energy. Nationality is another federal subject, and this includes the citizenship of Nigeria and the naturalization of aliens and the issue of passports and visas. Then there are the posts and telegraphs and telephones, and railways and federal trunk roads, and finally there is wireless broadcasting and television, and then broadcasting and television provided by the government of a region, and there is the, and there is the responsibility for allocating wavelengths. Now I have given you that long list of subjects for which the federal government is responsible, in order that you may see for yourselves how many of the things 
which the other political parties are promising to do for you if you vote them into power are right outside the control of the federal government. There are a few other subjects for which both the federal government and the regional governments are responsible and about which they can both make laws and these subjects are on what is known as the concurrent list. The list includes conditions of labor, industrial relations and industrial development but is mainly confined to technical matters of which statistics is an example. In framing our policy, we of the Northern People's Congress have not gone outside the provisions of the Constitution. And since this is only a federal election, we have considered it right that we should only address you, the electorate, on matters which we know the federal government has the power to control under the Constitution. We are confident that we have not allowed ourselves to be deceived by the unrealistic promises being made to you by the other political parties. I've explained to you the provisions of our Constitution, and I now want to tell you some of the things which my party, the NPC, will do for you if you vote us into power. Remember that the NPC always measures its programs and policies to be sure that they are constitutionally and physically possible of being carried out. Truth is our watchword, and we shall not deceive you. I start with the education. It is the responsibility of both the federal and the regional governments, and we in the Northern People's Congress consider that it is of national importance and should be treated as such. Bearing this in mind, our education policy will be first to recognize education as a matter of national importance. Secondly, to expand all grades of educational institutions. Thirdly, to provide increased facilities for science teaching to all school certificate holders throughout Nigeria. Fourthly, we shall offer additional scholarship not only to the universities and other institutions of higher learning, but we also plan to award federal scholarships to secondary schools. Fifthly, we intend to establish an inter-regional secondary schools and inter-regional technical institutes, both to be financed entirely from, re from federal funds. It is our hope that all the regions will cooperate with us in this project because we feel that the, that the mixing up in schools of students from all regions and from all tribal groups will definitely make a very valuable contribution towards our most important aim, which is the, which is the idea of unity in Nigeria and it will assist in providing a balanced educational output throughout the Federation. This in its turn will make it possible for the Federal Public Service to be a fully representative of all sections of the community. We shall establish a teacher training center especially for the training of secondary school teachers and it is also our intention that with the cooperation of the regions and of the voluntary agencies, we shall see that there is an interchange of staff between the various schools in Nigeria. We also intend to establish more institutes of higher learning, and it is our view that Nigeria can even now accommodate more university colleges. In the field of medical and health matters, the aim of the Northern People's Congress is to eradicate completely all epidemic and endemic diseases. We shall concentrate medical research especially on the elimination of leprosy and smallpox and all such other diseases which you know only too well are so dangerous to the health and the well-being of the nation. Besides research into methods of curing diseases, we shall also conduct medical research into preventive measures 
and we intend to give free medical treatment to all pregnant and nursing mothers and to all children up to school living age. We shall also expand and modernize the Lagos General Hospital. Now these are some of the things that we plan to provide for you. And with a full knowledge of the financial position of the federal government, we are convinced that they are all possible and that we shall be able to provide you with these services without having to impose additional taxation on you. We, of the Northern People's Congress, will always tell you the truth because we believe that you are entitled to know the full implications of what your personal vote may mean. I hope to have the opportunity of addressing you once more on the rest of our policies next Tuesday.